Yes, when her hands touched us, we were cuffing that perp. Yes, when we had to pretend to make out in order to avoid detection during that stakeout. Or yes, when we accidentally spent 15 minutes dry humping instead of interrogating the suspect. Sam. <laughs> Bud. I'm not going to dress as a furry, just letting you know. If you want that, <laughs> then Cassius has already kitted out. Sapna Nuggets, and welcome back to Max. Gentlemen, sexy business. I have been away for a bit. <laughs> so, geez a minute. Uh, let me reestablish everything that's going on. We have uh, we have everybody licking stamps. Good. Uh, we have people in the park that we're ready to do in. Great. We've obviously got Bon Bon going in staff we are possessed by ghosts obviously pubs empty taxes zero yes and we are uh, banishing spirits great <laughs> i forgot how much the game like it went from like chapter one just make money to like yep banish spirits don't pay taxes <laughs> train assassins <laughs> and of course like stamps the most important part there's so many things going on on my screen. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I see you. Oh man, I forgot the real reason that I, w I was like, why am I not? F why am I not fighting them in the park? Oh, because the reason I'm not fighting them in the park is because there's ghosts. <laughs> How do you focus on getting ghosts out the road like quickly? <laughs> I also forgot how much larger the Chubby District is than any other one. Right, wait, wait, wait. Oh god, there's so much. I took such a long break. Wait, how much is my debt? How, uh, loan due in 20... 27 days? That's peasy. Who's in charge of transport again? Fanny, it looks like your gold production is going to be going through the roof shortly, dear. Date? Who am I dating? Taxes due. Oh, uh, taxes due today. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't, shouldn't have taken. Look, you can't step away from a business, all right? You just can't because as soon as you do, you come back from your hold and you're like, ah, right, so what's going on? Paperwork. <laughs> we have a date. I'm pretty sure it's with. Yes, it's with Pip. Now, just give me a moment to get. I would say all my. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have eight. I have eight spirits <laughs> to banish. Okay, I, I'm gonna have a date. <laughs> Pep, 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 I need to relax a bit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, Pat, it's been five minutes. I'm already so stressed out. Battle Baller, why are you wearing that? <laughs> oh, I love this game. So our Pep Whipple has arrived with all our usual <laughs> je de vivre. I believe she wishes to speak to you. Uh, best embodiment embodied by dogs, a French term for the joy of living. Great. Damn right, I wish to speak to you, partner. Uh oh, uh oh. I told my mouse is going, what have we done? What are we doing? The more I think about it, the cooler the caper of ours was. Maybe the crime wasn't real, but our crime solving skills were, for sure. Uh, <laughs> where are they? <laughs> so sitting around my house, you know, not solving any crimes and I thought, well, I thought I'd really like to see you. <laughs> I've grown to really like and depend on you over the course of our investigation. So much so that I had a hard time imagining life without you. Wow. <laughs> okay, very, very different vibe from most of the others. <laughs> and maybe I've got some other feelings for you too. Just a little, possibly. Let's talk about those other feelings. Uh, I'm not sure I have those same feelings, but do you still want to solve real crime? <laughs> no, let's talk about those other feelings, Pep. Uh, let me put it this way, I've got one more mystery for you to get to the bottom of, and you're gonna like what's at the bottom of it. <laughs> Interested? Lead the way, detective. Uh, I can't wait to crack your case, if you know what I mean. I think I'd rather solve a real mystery with you, like a crime mystery, not a sexy mystery. <laughs> That's, that is the sequel to the game. Max Gentleman, sexy mystery. <laughs> Crack this, I think I do. Uh, come with me, cutie, I brought some costumes. Oh God, I'm a banana again. Pip grabs you by the hand, hustles you into the carriage, and soon, soon, uh, as you and her state, standing before the door labeled as interrogation room. <laughs> uh, hey, <laughs> ooh, kinky. <laughs> I guess it is, isn't it? Let's have a look, shall we? 
Pip throws open the door to reveal her bedroom. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have time to remodel my bedroom into anything fun and sexy like a crime scene or a jail. <laughs> You'll have to use our imagination. <laughs> I'm sure that that is what everybody's currently doing. Pip begins to put on a ta tailor-made police uniform. It's quite form-fitting. I think Pip's definitely into roleplay. <laughs> Lock me up, baby, because I feel guilty just looking at you. Oh, man, do you know, I've just realised that this entire game... See if you need to spice up your love life and well, a bit of roleplayer ends. I just copy any of the scripts going on. <laughs> because the cheese of these lines should be on a platter. Uh, I feel left out. Where's my costume? You know, if this is what you're into, I think I'd rather solve an actual crime with you. But why do you keep going back to the I want to solve a crime? <laughs> Imagine how, like dejected you and feel <laughs> they're already putting on the fucking out your yeah, you know what I think I would rather go look at a corpse than do this <laughs> uh, where's my costume I'm glad you asked Pip throws open a closet to reveal dozens of costumes three in particular stand out to you ah good we get to choose uh, you be the cop I'll be the robber you be the seasoned veteran detective and I'll be your nubile young partner <laughs> or <laughs> I put on my robe and wizard hat <laughs> Oh man, we showed up to two very different tabletop roleplay sessions. Oh. Whew. <laughs> it's like, this is fantasy. And in fantasy, I can be nubile. In actuality, I am not. <laughs> oh, we can have a sudden moment of intimacy in the interrogation room after closing a case. I love workplace romance. Pip closes her eyes for a moment. When she reopens them, she's an entirely different person. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to give her like a fucking Boston accent. You did dear in this one, kid. <laughs> Without you, we never would have solved the case of the case of quite what case did we just solve? The case of the Countess's missing undergarment, or the case of the man with one nostril. That's just called a severe cocaine addiction. Or the case of tuberculosis. Ah, uh, the Countess is missing undergarments. Of course, we could have guessed that, uh, that the sought after garments were in your pocket the entire time. <laughs> Wait, I don't like where this is going. You know, I'm still a little curious about that, actually. Uh, elementary, my dear Pip. Uh, don't ask questions you don't want the answer to, as we are. <laughs> Criminals are. Pretty crafty. <laughs> I live by this one. Don't ask questions you do not want the answer to. Quite so, quite so. In any case, I wanted to say, sir, that over the course of this investigation, I have come to feel, well, rather close to you. I know it's against departmental regulations to have a horror <laughs> for a fellow officer. It's written there specifically. <laughs> Unacceptable behaviour includes having horn. <laughs> But haven't you felt it too? Yes, when our hands touched as we were cuffing that perp. Yes, when we had to pretend to make out in order to avoid detection during that stakeout. Or yes, when we accidentally spent 15 minutes dry humping instead of interrogating the suspect. How do you accidentally do that? <laughs> but yeah, it's that one. Such an easy mistake to make, isn't it? Yep. After all, interrogation is such a passionate pursuit, and you... You're such a passionate individual. Pip drifts off as her eyes linger on your lips. Oh, sir, can't we be together? Is it so wild a fancy? Damn it, I'm crazy about you. But, the commissioner, but, your husband, but, do you really love me? <laughs> If, look, if you have watched any of the videos, and this is like episode 50, <laughs> Max Gentleman. So if you're coming in for the first time, you're going to be very confused as to everything that's going on. So I'm going to believe that you've watched my videos. You know that I love throwing spanners and works. And by going, but your husband. 
definitely one of those. <laughs> this is a full pumping of the brakes. That's just kinky foreplay. This is just a test Bips improv skills. <laughs> Oh, hang my husband, you've seen how he treats me. He never once looked at me the way you do. You joined the department because you love justice, didn't you? <laughs> She's got a tattoo over her ass that says justice. <laughs> Whoo! That's more. <laughs> What's more? Just than saving a neglected wife from her lout of a husband. Pip steps forward and one hand finds its way to your hip. So, how about it? Will you make me the happiest cop on the force? Oh, yes, yes! It would be my privilege just as soon as you admit that I'm a better detective than you. <laughs> I want to desperately, but no one can ever know. <laughs> oh, the tears are real. Uh, oh, I want to say, but no one can ever know. <laughs> a secret rendezvous? I can think of nothing sweeter. What happens here tonight never leaves this interrogation room. Except within our most secret hearts. Now come to me, you irresistible rookie. <laughs> that wraps you in an enthusiastic embrace, kissing you hungrily. Wait, let's take our costumes off. Can we leave our costumes on? Can I change into an entirely different costume? But my hat! <laughs> I don't feel as sexy without my robe. Can we leave the costumes on? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I appreciate your commitment to the role. Through the logistical... Oh, my knee. <laughs> it just fucking popped my knee. <laughs> this video is a train wreck. <laughs> ah, though the logistics are a bit complicated, you are soon happily entangled on the bed. I tried to, I tried to keep the costume on and popped my knee. <laughs> Pip, unable to contain herself any longer, tackles you into the bed. She plants her hands on your chest as she straddles you, her strong, lean legs squeezing against your hips. She touches her lips down your ne uh, neck. Every kiss carries on it as a little heated little bone, giving you goosebumps. Oh, I've discovered one of your secrets. I didn't know that a cop would be ticklish too. I didn't mean to. I'm not ticklish, don't you, dear? <laughs> a weakness? Me? Never! <laughs> That sounds precisely like a dare, <laughs> and I never turned down a challenge. It's too, uh, it's too stu soon to strike. I'll just stow that knowledge away for later. <laughs> do we want to turn this into role play and tickle kink, or do I want to be evil? <laughs> save that. Mm -hmm. I'll save it for later. <laughs> Okay, phew. I mean, that's darn right you wouldn't. <laughs> Not with our fictional relationship hanging precariously in the balance. <laughs> with a breathless grin. But pulls you into your arm uh, pulls herself into your arms and lands a happy smooch on you. As the kiss deepens, you guide your hands all uh, all too eagerly over her modest curves. Now to find out what other secrets she hold and better <laughs> my secret knowledge dossier on you. <laughs> Dossier. A file of information, usually on a person of interest. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Nice. I sent you my dossier. Please respond. Pip runs your hands over her petite breasts, her firm butt between her legs, kissing you all over and over again. Each kiss and every touch seems to delight her even more than the other, even as even as the gyrations of your bodies warm her <laughs> giggles into moans. Gyrations, rhythmic wigglings. <laughs> I also, if you ever want to write a smut novel, <laughs> the dictionary, this is great. <laughs> they were gyrating, no, they were rhythmically wiggling. <laughs> You're powerless to resist me, so you better just confess, cop, which part of me makes you the weakest? I couldn't po possibly resist your humble but Perky chest. I could never defeat an ass like yours. <laughs> Why, your devastating intellect, of course. I mean, the thing is, is like, oh, I hate that question. Like, are you a tissered ass man? Uh, thighs or elbows? There's got to be people out there that are in elbows, right? Is there any part of you that would be like, oh, yes, I am attracted to this person? Oh, but that ass. Oh, that's gotta go. <laughs> 
Uh... Oh, that's not the chest. <laughs> Petite but potent. <laughs> You're smart to recognize my appeal. Pip <laughs> tells herself down over to give you a mo modest face full of her bosom, making the most of their charmingly little. <laughs> She, sla she laughs and bliss as you tease her with your tongue and lips, hands and fingers. She's lithe and wiggly. <laughs> your embrace, making little sound in response to every sensation. You share as you start <laughs> rutting, <laughs> making starts to quicken. Your kissing eagerly fondling rapidly builds until you're both panting. I can't stand it anymore. I've waited too long to get down and dirty with a cop like you. Oh, cop. Give me all you've got. <laughs> It's more of a case of Pip giving you all she's got, starting with a spunky twist of her hips that brings your bodies together in a delicious friction. Uh, she's as bouncy now as she ever was! <laughs> Each excitable thrust rub and bounce just as thrilling as the adventures together. Soon enough you're both seeing stars short of breath and more than ready to blow off steam from a hard-boiled case. Shakes her back as she presses into you into the mattress. Give it to me, you dirty cop. Yes, yes. There <laughs> as you lie in the afterglow of your costumed caper. <laughs> costumed caper. <laughs> burrows into your arms for a truly outstanding snuggle. Wow, that was incredible. I couldn't have done it without you, partner. <laughs> Just do it again sometime. <laughs> You're incredible. <laughs> Could have done it without you, partner. <laughs> yeah, we make a great, a pretty good sex team, don't we? You know, I'm kind of bad at relating to people normally. Like, I feel as if I'm not very good at connecting with someone unless there's some kind of fantasy attached. I never thought I'd find someone who was willing to share those fantasies with me. Thank you, sir. With that, Pip lays her head and chest and falls fast asleep. In the morning, you'll have to go back to being fancy business mongols, but for tonight, you can live the fantasy a little longer. And that's Pip's story arc. Completed. And this is for no one other than me. <laughs> I got, oh, this game. <laughs> I've, I've been, time to get real. I've been kind of stressed out lately. Life and things and stuff had been pretty stressful as of late, but my god, did I not just have the most amount of fun playing this fucking game? <laughs> and I get it's difficult to pay attention to the story, or the smut, or basically any part of it with me giggling like a fucking imbecile the entire time, but <laughs> I hope you do enjoy it. Uh, right, <laughs> back to business if I can remember how. <laughs> do, 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 do. So here are the options. We're close with Bon Bon. We've still got you two to build up, but you, we don't get dates. So we just get outfits. Plan Penny. Uh, what's the easiest? I would say that Blackjack's my game, but I have been proven wrong so many times now. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Steam room. <laughs> Set this bar. <laughs> <laughs> wanted to know. <laughs> and now I do. Now, I don't necessarily want to be taking down my Mistress of Battle's fucking attack power, but these ghosts are a pain. There we go. Now I can get, get. There we go. Good, good, good. Perfect timing. I need you to get in there and start paying off this. <laughs> the tax. How much do you have? 90. So we should be fine. Wouldst thou rather? Be slapped every time you sneeze or lose an arm wrestling match to a sickly chew. Part of me thinks that they probably aren't being sneezed. Uh, sneezed slapped. <laughs> Fucking my brain is so. <laughs> Uh, make it all the way to the end of a dungeon, only to discover you don't have the final key. Sail the seven seas with a crew of horny bees. They like animals. Horny bees. <laughs> Display orders and lose your rank and or status. Uh, tell your partner their ass looks good in an outfit, even when it really doesn't.
What can I say? I am overly cocky for no reason. Why? Why would the bus? Bus? Why would the train matter? Of everything, of everything that is haunted, the train matters none. I have a cheering crowd. Your high attack power does not matter. Oh, we have some limited time smart, but it, there's no more limited time smart. All that is left now is outfits. Now, business made Fables B outfit or Sam Finch. But see, I kind of don't want to get the main character stuff because I feel like I could have the chance of unlocking that just by doing the dates. Business made, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you meant to be a? Oh, you're maybe a monkey out of uh, was right. I kind of like the outfit. <laughs> right, but date again. Samuel Finch, date three. God, we have not been progressing. <laughs> Some of the you can definitely tell. My fav. I actually don't like that. <laughs> I changed my mind as soon as you showed up in it. Oh no, I clicked. There we go. Uh, Scarish is fabulous as ever, uh, but it seems to be drawn by regular horses now. Oh, yes. Hello, sir. My leopard horses regrettably have died. <laughs> it's possibly something to do with the paint that was used to make them look like leopards. It's quite tragic, but I console myself with the fact that I gave them a good life while I could. As to horses. Now, this is no longer... <laughs> Now there's no time to dwell on past rounds. <laughs> I completely forgot about the fucking <laughs> leopard horses. However, I, uh, I am here with a monument to snooze. Uh, the, oh no, the panoptipus. <laughs> That's right. The panoptipus, the human octopus horsefly hybrid, which I so dearly wish to catch, has been spotted right here in London. As you were so instrumental in the tracking and recapture of my precious lobsters the other day, I thought, well, I thought you might have make a top-notch hunting partner. What do you say? Uh, count me in. That panoptipus doesn't stand a chance against the two of us. I'll use this as an excuse to check out all my favourite shops. I mean, sure. Wonderful. I'll take the rear. So, uh, not... <laughs> Just so I can stare at yours while we hunt. <laughs> I want to go shopping. I have so much money. Do you know how much shopping I would do if I was as loaded in real life? <sighs> ah! One can dream. You're forgiven for your ulterior motives. Ah. Uh, I myself believe that no hunting trip is complete without a bit of shopping and at least two costume changes. I mean, uh, uh, we could arrange that. We could arrange that. That could be done. You have enough costumes. Barely. Samuel hands you a pithy helmet, a horse, butterfly net, and wading boots, and you set off in the perilous invaders of urban London. Pith helmet. Imagine yourself in a safari. See that hat? That's a pith helmet. <laughs> next word. Invaders, a surrounding area. No, I didn't click. I didn't click next word. Apparently, uh, I didn't. <laughs> I've heard tips that the Panoptimus has been spotted in the sewers and in the red light district. Any thoughts on where we should start? Uh, the sewers, the red light district. <laughs> A private booth at my favourite bistro. <laughs> Let's go see Bon Bon, see how she's... <laughs> you make your way to a rather intelligently named street in Whitechapel and you have a look around. <laughs> Madam's uh, beckon to you. <laughs> Madams, uh, Madams betting to you from the brothel doors, uh, an orgasm riddled squabble with this monkey. <laughs> the air is thick with the scent of liquor, perfume, and bad decisions. I must admit I'm a bit of a loss as how to best investigate here. <laughs> Leave it to me. Why not ask the organ grinder? <laughs> I bet one of the madams knows something. Uh, let's party our asses off and hope that the panoptopus finds us. Maybe the madams know. You poke your head into a brothel called the gaggling goat herd. Gagging? Gagging goat herd, even worse. After a sizable consideration, uh, the madam agrees to introduce you to one of her employees who claims to have seen a unique experience. So you're saying you slept with the panoptopus? Yep. Fucked his brains out. <laughs> Interesting. I am under the impression that Panoptopus had no brain. He doesn't, but I fucked it right out of him. 
No, I mean, he uses specialized cells in a large intestine to... Oh, this is pointless. I suppose this is what I get for interviewing a woman known to her peers as Min Dishes Margaret. It's honest and false. Someone who lies. Come along, I doubt we'll be learning much more in this neighborhood. This proved less than enlightening. Where to next? Ah, uh, favorite bistro! Look, after spending adequate amount of time at a brothel, <laughs> you need carb up. <laughs> I must admit, that sounds far more pleasant than either the red light district or the sewers. The two of you climb into the carriage and off you go to the in front steakhouse. Uh, even as opposed to the Outback Steakhouse. I see the ruby encrusted frog legs that are absolutely scrumptious. Nevertheless, I'm not sure I, un I understand how this is supposed to help us locate the Panoptopus, the Panopto what? I'm just eating. <laughs> it's not, I just like this restaurant. We're here to investigate the greatest mystery of all, the man who hunts the Panoptopus. You never find the Panoptopus if you're so stressed out all the time. Yeah, we need, we need look, <laughs> Sam and me need some de-stress time. We tried the red light district, Sam wasn't up for it. Uh, we're here to learn more about you, Samuel. You mean me? You want to know more about yours truly? That's actually rather sweet. Very well, what would you like to know? Wait, actually, this, this is about time for a... Nope. Uh, a, a, sure. Uh, <laughs> no. Mm, no. No. There we go. Costume change for dinner! Uh, what would you like to know? Uh, why are you so embarrassed? Uh, why are you so obsessed with hunting the Panoptimus enemy? Uh, what's your steamiest fantasy if you had to lose one? Uh, lose your eyes or your hands. Which would you choose? That's a good one. Which would you choose? Your hands or your eyes? That's a toughie, actually. I can't even... Not a, like... Not even, like, a jokey answer, like... I, do, I don't know if anybody else does it. I do that thing where, like, if it's kind of low light or at night or whatever, I'll just, instead of turning lights on, I'll just kind of shut my eyes and just try and see how well I know my flat. I've only cut myself several times. It's fine. Ugh, but my hands! Ugh. I need them for so much. I feel, yeah, I feel like it would be so hard to adapt, though. I'm, I'm, I'm so old. <laughs> I'm so set in my ways of being able to see. <laughs> F, F, F. I was loaded. I would choose hands, because then I could get bionic hands, and I'd be cool. But I'm not, so... <laughs> the poor man's option is to lose your eyes. <laughs> Uh, uh Stevie's fantasy go control yourself sir this is only our third meeting but i'll give you a hint it involves dress up there's a theme for this episode <laughs> great there's the through thread what about you what is your steamiest fantasy wait <laughs> sam <laughs> Bud. I'm not going to dress as a furry, just letting you know. If you want that, <laughs> then Cassius has already gotted out. Alright. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It involves you. Uh, sex in the back of a freshly killed bear. Uh, owning my own sauna. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah, that'd be the answer. I do. In any case, we can't laze about here all evening. Curses, that beast eludes me once more. Only one place left to try. The sewers. Yes, of course, the sewers. It's just that... It's just that... <coughs> well, I'm rather proud of this outfit. I just cheat! <laughs> and I'm not entirely keen on baptizing us in the bodily fluids of the public at large. Do you think of a way we might investigate the sewers without, you know, actually going into the sewers? Let's le yell into a manhole asking if anyone's seen the panoptopus. What does the panoptopus like to eat? Let's dangle some through a sewer grate and see what happens. Yeah, let's just pennywise it. 
Uh, we can use dogs to track the foul beast. Nah, let's just yell into a manhole. A top-notch idea. Work smarter, not harder, as as the tofu nugget way. I always say, uh, you locate a manhole cover, uh, the two of you wrestle it open. Ah. Yoo-hoo, anyone down there? This is definitely not the voice that you should have with that kind of grunt, but okay. So we finish here of the Finch Fashion Corporation. Ah. Yes, yes, I'm very rich and well-dressed, but no need to be intimidated. I'm just like everyone else. It, it's, 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 if you could, how about you let me handle the yelling, all right? In any case, has anyone down there seen a seven-foot-tall humanoid octopus covered in unblinking eyes recently? Just wondering. Sam's voice echoes through the sewer's depths, finally. A small, angry voice replies... Keep it, down, keep it down up there, it's hard enough being a mole person without you surface dwells all screaming and crashing at us about the panoptopus. Oh. What? The mole men are real? <laughs> mole. People. <laughs> the voice corrects him. It's 19th century, dude. Get with the times. <laughs> the correction falls on deaf ears, however, and Sam is already excitedly leaping into the sewers to pursue the speaker. He emerges hours later, filthy and dejected. Uh, no luck. All I found were a handful of crocodiles and two men trying to tunnel into a bank vault. I've had enough of this foul, smelling, but necessary infrastructure. Infrastructure, roads, buildings, electricity, all the basic systems of a town or city. Uh, it's getting late and I fear we're nowhere uh, nowhere left to look. Sorry we didn't find the panoptopus. Poppycock! <laughs> Let's stay out until we find a blessed creature. Are you sure we could always just check... My bedroom. <laughs> kind of you to accept to distract me with sex, but uh, I'm afraid I must decline. Huh? I've already been a long day and I'm quite filthy and tired. Huh? Perhaps we can take a rain check. I'll make it worth your while. Farewell, sir, and thank you. Thank you for believing. Samuel departs, stinking up the entire town. Just loves himself. <laughs> Where is he? Where there you are, right? We need to change to that and <laughs> There's the Samuel Finch I know. <laughs> Sir, the research department is running low on human subjects again. Perhaps we can recruit more subjects by offering free pole dancing lessons. Sure. Uh, we should go around with a clipboard and a big wrench and make sure all the workers know volunteering is mandatory. <laughs> Can't find more subjects and test them on ourselves. Uh, gain two, gain money, lose that. Gain there, who gold. I love gold! I gain, lose staff, and lose popularity. But I gain, ooh, but I gain what? Look, Battle Butler was pleased, all right? That's all I really give a shit about. <laughs> and with that, all the ghosts are gone, only for me to get more literally right now. Great, thanks, thanks. Yeah, sure, go up. There we go. How many? Oh, God, fuck. <laughs> to wait, boss. Calm down. Right, okay. <laughs> So, I got rid of ghosts, this is up, we some dates, that's all I can ask for. <laughs> so, I'm gonna end it here for today. I'm so glad to be back playing this. I get that this is, for for some reason, <laughs> this has become a long-running series. But it's because I love it and I want to do things that I love doing, especially for YouTube. Like, the whole reason that I did was, this was to enjoy things, do you know what I mean, and, and experience new stuff and make things that I want to make, do you know what I mean? And I get that YouTube doesn't like <laughs> this particular series, and uh, some of you might not like it either, but I like it, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> and every time I put it back on, I'm reminded as to why I've played so much of it. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the subscribe button, like the video, keys your banner in the section down below, all that jazz, and I'll catch you nuggets in the next one. Cheerio, bye.
Yes, when our hands touched as we were cuffing that perp. Yes, when we had to pretend to make out in order to avoid detection during that stakeout. Or yes, when we accidentally spent 15 minutes dry humping instead of interrogating the suspect. Sam. <laughs> Bud. I'm not going to dress as a furry, just letting you know. If you want that, <laughs> then Cassius is already kitted out. 